Okay, so now that you've learned some new skills, it's time for you to pick up a side job or side hustles, okay? Um, I don't care if it's cutting grass, if it's, you know, um, you know, if you're a lady doing people's nails, doing hair, um, if you're a man cutting people's hair, if you need to learn how to be a barber and to cut people's hair on the weekends, do it, you know? Um, all of these different things like this will definitely help you double your income in no time. If you learn a side hustle and you learn, well, if you learn a skill and then you can apply that into your side hustle, or if you can start a side hustle with that, you'll, you'll start racking up additional income in no time, right? So additional income is great. And a business or a hustle on the side is a perfect way to double your income in no time, right? So for an example, a handyman making $60,000 a year. Um, if he does an average of side work, $250 a day, that's an additional 60 grand a year, okay? That's working five days a week. Um, so tell me who doesn't want an additional 60 grand a year, all because you went and learned how to put up sheetrock, or you learned how to make uh, sheetrock repairs, right? Um, or you learned how to fix a, a door hinge, whatever the case may be. Um, uh, it's just an example learn you a new skill, get you a side hustle, or get you a side job going, right? So last, okay, so another third, okay? Here's third. So you need to be going from salary to commission, okay? Because unfortunately, there's only so many workable hours in a week, right? Sure, you can work 80 to 100 hours a week, um, but even at that, I mean, you, you're getting paid $20 an hour. Say you're getting time and a half at the end of everything. There's only a top out point or a max amount that you're allowed to make or that you will make essentially. Right. But if you're working based on performance or you're working based on commission where you get paid based on results, not time, um, it, there, there really isn't a certain limit that you can make, right? Um, so it also gives you that incentive slash motivates you to perform well. So if you're showing up at a factory every day where you're getting hourly and you know that, damn, no matter if I show up and I come in and I do 18 hours a day, that's the most I'm going to get paid. Sure, if you if you are um, happy with that, then then all be all, you know, then, then that's your life. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But for some people, I want to have an incentive. I want to be motivated to perform well, right? So whether that's okay, maybe I need to maybe I need to sell these jobs, um, and 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 do them as possibly and knock them out as quick as possible. That way, I can move on to the next one, right? So for an example, a guy making twenty dollars an hour make forty hours, blah blah blah. Um, so basically. Somebody making $20 an hour can do all of this work. So basically, somebody making $20 an hour can do all of this work. Um, and $20 an hour is not a lot. But somebody could be doing that, doing all of this work, and, you know, get paid pretty decently. But you have somebody on commission making $0 for the whole week, but he also has the opportunity to make ten grand next week by selling a house or by selling a car, whatever, whatever he has you. So the point of that is just to go from salary to commission, you know, go from uh, working based on time to more based on your performance and your results. Right. So number four, change companies. And to be honest, I didn't really know how I wanted to address this one because, um, you know, it, it's kind of hard to tell people to, you know, up and leave the company that they've been working on. But at the end of the day, Especially nowadays, so many companies are hiring, so many companies are looking for workers. I doubt, I highly doubt, unless you're green in every field, every level with no experience. Um, and even then, I'm sure a company will hire you. Um, so yeah, I doubt anybody's, you know, uh, not hiring right now, right? Everybody's pretty much wanting manpower. Um, so what's crazy about that is workers change jobs on an average of four and a half years, right? And the median stay of workers between ages 25 to 34 is, is 2.8 years. 
and for people 55 to 64 is 10.1 years right and you actually make I mean this is this is a quote from Forbes uh, dot com uh, it's been shown that people that change their jobs frequently every two years have a 5.3 increase in wages compared to a 4% increase to those who have, who stayed at their job, right? Um, so what that basically sh tells us is that people are averagely making more um, when they when they swap out companies and they change companies, right? So, all right, this is last but by no means least, right? If anything, this is probably the most important that you should start immediately, right? Waking up early. Waking up earlier, okay? So when you wake up earlier, you know, you don't have to, um, okay. Waking up earlier. So waking up earlier is, is so important because not only do you get a head start on your day, but you also get a, a, a uh, a head start in life so if all your co-workers and you got to be at the factory you know say you got to be at a job at nine o'clock every day but you're waking up at five in the morning every day that's an additional four hours that you have over everybody at your company that are that are, that are sleeping those three hours right those three to four hours so while you're up not only is it important to wake up earlier but use this this time that you that you're waking up earlier productively, right? Excuse me. So not only is it important to wake up earlier, but it's also important to use the time that you've gained from waking up earlier um, to be more productive, right? So you have more time. You have time to go and work out, whether it's to meditate, whether it's to uh, read a book to gain more knowledge. Um, whether it's to uh, build your business up while the world is sleeping, right? So the world is essentially sleeping at this time. So you have no distractions. You can wake up before your wife gets up, before the kids get up, before everybody gets up. That way you can essentially get your day started and get after it, get to what you need to get to. Okay, so I just wanted to put that out there because by no means whatsoever, is waking up earlier going to uh, hinder you know you doubling your income if anything it's going to help you double your income because you're going to be focused on how can I double my income how can I learn what what skills can I learn today what um, you know what um, you know okay so waking up earlier if anything it's actually going to be uh, more beneficial for you to double your income because you're going to wake up every day and you're going to wonder, okay, what skills can I learn today? What side jobs and hustles can I get to today? Um, you know, how, how, how can I, um, you know, um, well, what's the word I'm looking for? How can I? Okay, so how, how can I negotiate from going from salary to commission, right? How can I... Uh, it also gives you the benefit of looking into changing companies, right? So you're going to want to change companies. So basically just wake up earlier and I have no doubt in my mind that you'll definitely double your income in no time.